I'm here live with Anthony Turbo Rogers, one of the most explosive running backs in the country. Turbo, what's going on? What's up, man? How you doing? Man, I'm good. So, Turbo, you're committed to Alabama, and you've been committed to Bama for a long time. What was it about Kalen DeBoer and staff that made you want to keep your commitment to Alabama? Uh, mainly uh, Coach Robert Gillespie. I mean, he's been recruiting me since uh, eighth grade, and he stayed on staff, so I really had no reason to decommit. Now, I, I like that a lot. When it comes to as far as wanting to stay in state, how important is it for you to represent that Alabama logo? Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just good to um, play in state. Uh, play for Bama, like I said, me and Coach G got a real good relationship. So, I mean, it's good to represent your own state. For sure. So, right now, uh, everybody in the country is still recruiting. You, you're, you're really one of the hottest names in the country. What schools are, are you talking to the most or contact you the most right now? Uh, the main schools has been Bama, Georgia, Auburn, uh, and Ohio State. Okay. Are you planning on taking any OVs to these schools? Yeah, I'm a, I'm trying to take OVs to all those schools on uh, this fall. So would you consider that to be your Final Four? I wouldn't say a Final Four because, I mean, I'm not sure what may happen in the future, but uh, that's what I'm looking forward to right for right now. So with you being committed to Bama, you're, you've been very open about schools that you plan on taking official visits to. What's been Bama's response to you wanting to look around to make sure that, hey, you know, uh, that your commitment is where you want to be? Uh, I feel like they respect it because, I mean, they understand that, I mean, at the end of the day, I should still be able to uh, be recruited and uh, enjoy that because, I mean, I still need to make sure that I'm uh, making the right decision for the future. So I feel like it's, it's a respect thing. So, I mean, I respect them with how they recruit and they respect how I do my recruitment as well. Now, that, that's good that you guys have that mutual respect. So it's been very open. And you hear a, a lot of times guys are like, well, I'm going to try to sneak over here and take this visit. But you've been very open about it. All right. Speaking of visits and being in other states, you were at IMG, the IMG Academy. What was it like playing there with all that talent? Oh, yeah, it was great there. I mean, it's good playing with talent like that. I mean, the practice is high intensity and you're getting better every day because uh, you're with a lot of good athletes. I mean, learning something new every day and just it's, it's great there. All right. So this year you're back home in Montgomery. You'll be playing at Carver. What's it? What do you feel like the energy is going to be in that stadium when you get to run out there as part of the Carver team? Oh yeah, it's going to be real live. I mean, it feels good to be back, be back home, be able to represent your city uh, for the senior year. So it's going to be some good energy there. So Turbo, you mentioned Georgia, Auburn, Ohio State, and Bama as far as taking OVs. What are you looking forward to the most about taking your official visits? Uh, first, I want to look at a. Uh, a team that I'll be able to fit into the scheme. Uh, second, I probably want to look at into like an environment that I'll be comfortable at, like outside of football. Uh, I want to be at a school where like the coaches and the relationship with the coaches and the players is a healthy relationship. And then I want to be somewhere that I'll be able to develop. So, and then eventually be in the NFL. Okay. Well, that seems like you got your like like you got your notes. You're ready. You know what you're looking for. Let's talk about your game. Turbo, you're one of the smaller backs, but you run so big. Where do you get that, 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 that the mentality to be able to run between the tackles the way you do and to still have the moves that you do? Yeah, some people just got that um, that dog in them, regardless of the size. And I definitely got that dog in me. So, I mean, I may be on the smaller side, but I mean, I mean you're not going to see that on film. I mean, I'm, I'm going to run the same way as a big back run, maybe even harder. Mm-hmm. Now, I, I love to hear that. Now, do you play any other sports? Uh, not currently, but I mean, I grew up playing basketball, track, and football mainly. But I played soccer once, and I, I did wrestling too. Oh wow! Have you been able to include what you learned from any of those other sports in your game now? Oh uh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, track definitely carried over to football. I mean, it helps out with my long speed. Uh. Mainly that. I mean, uh, basketball most definitely because vision, that's where I get my vision from because basketball, you have to get past somebody with the ball 
and be able to put the ball in the rim or make certain passes. So it just makes football 10 times slower. And then wrestling, I feel like that helped out with balance. I mean, I got great contact balance, so I can be, I can give some credit from that to wrestling. I like that. You train at Madhouse, which is famous for putting out. It's like a football factory. Right. Talk to me about what it's been like with you training at Madhouse and how grateful you are for that staff there and what they've been able to do for you. Yeah, uh, first off, I want to say all the all the best athletes in my city, they go through Madhouse. I mean, it's not one you can name. If, if you're a good athlete in my city, Madhouse is the place for you. So, yeah, I mean, what they took me in in the eighth grade, uh, they showed me through the recruitment process and helped me get recruited. I mean, and I train with them. I lift weights with them. I get stronger, faster, and all that good stuff. So, yeah. All right, Turbo, before we get out of here, tell everybody something that you want them to know about the decision that you're about to make for the rest of the for, for the next three to four years of your life. Uh, decision I make for the rest of the three, four years of my life, I mean, I mean, I know it's going to go well because, I mean, I'm just trusting in God and I'm pretty sure he's going to lead me the right way. Man, I love that. Where can everybody find you on social media? Uh. Uh, on Instagram, you can find me at turbo.ant underscore uh, and Twitter, uh, Anthony Rogers. For sure. Turbo, man, thanks a lot. And I'll uh, see you soon. Hey, so after the OVs, you got to come back. We can talk about it again. All right. Thank you.